The Mr. India South Africa pageant has set out to be a launch pad for future leaders and to motivate young men to serve the communities in which they live and work. Dr. Farooq Sathar is the reigning title holder and we decided to see how this Gauteng based dentist is bringing smiles to faces. Even his fellow contestants considered Dr. Farooq Sathar to be a popular winner. But receiving the title holder's sash was by no means his only reason for wearing a broad smile. Farooq relishes the challenge because it ignites his creativity and he approaches life with passion and positivity. I possess a deep thirst for knowledge. His motto is simple. When faced with a choice, he chooses to be happy. And more often than not, this involves making those around him happy too. Mela guest reporter Habib Nurbai joined Farooq for a typical morning. We often cringe when we are due for our medical checkup or dentist appointment. But today is anything but cringe worthy because I'm not just spending time with a great dentist and facial esthetician, I'm also spending time with the current Mr. India South Africa, Dr. Farooq Sitar. Health and happiness are interlinked and a workout forms part of Farooq's daily routine. He enjoys keeping fit and in shape and finds that self-discipline gives him inner peace and contentment. Mr. India, South Africa. How's it, Javier? Well, thanks. How are you? Good, thank you. How was your workout session? It was really good. I'm quite passionate about uh, fitness, so this is where you can find me every morning. I start off my day with this, get some endorphins in, and then take it from there. Farooq, why did you enter Mr. India, South Africa? Mr. India, South Africa is an excellent platform for young businessmen to actually uh, voice important issues. I'm also very passionate about oral health being a dentist, and I needed a global platform or a national platform that I could use to actually promote oral health. Farooq, tell us more about the competition. I spent an entire week with the other contestants the preliminaries and uh, you learn a lot of stuff but you have a lot of fun along the way as well. Uh, Mr. Danny Mudlia who is the owner of the brand uh, makes it really comfortable for all the guys and he's uh, really good at what he does and very passionate. It was just an amazing experience and if anyone that's eligible to enter this competition should. As you know in pageants there's one distinctive feature that places winners on top. What would you say was your X factor when you won on the final night? I think the, the oral health campaign thing was actually what caught the judges eyes. They probably obviously agreed with the fact that there is a need for national awareness around oral health and I think that gave me the X factor. There's something else that you love. What is it? I love dogs. Uh, I'm quite passionate about them. They, uh, I'm in my element when I spend some time with them. And I'm actually on my way to the SPCA now, so uh, why don't you join me? Sounds good. Let's go. At the local branch of the SPCA, Farooq's puppy pals were waiting to play with one of their favorite friends who makes regular visits as part of his work as a volunteer. Farooq, a dog usually loves you more than you love yourself. Out of everything that you love, who do you say that you love the dog the best? I do. I love dogs a lot because of their unconditional love and their energy. And I think us humans can actually learn something from that in terms of spreading more love in the world. I think that the work that the SPCA does is phenomenal in terms of actually sheltering these dogs who don't have a home. So help out wherever you can. And more importantly, like the SPCA says, rather adopt than shop. Viewers can actually help in by actually contributing either by giving some food to the SPCA, time more importantly, or you can also just come through and maybe pay for a dog that needs some medical treatment. As much fun as it's been playing with the puppies here, I've I've got a few patients waiting for me at the practice, so let's head off there. Great! Dentistry is more than just a job for Farooq, and he believes in doing what is best for his patients. In fact, he's perfectly happy if he doesn't need to drill at all, because this means that his patients are practicing what he preaches about good oral health. Okay, thanks Nicole. That was excellent. Keep up the oral hygiene, and then I see you again in six months. I will. Thank you, Doctor. Keep well. Farooq, how was your consult? It was good. Um, I like treating patients that have uh, good oral hygiene. Now, what exactly is a facial esthetician and a conscious sedation dental surgeon? I'm a general dentist, but uh, I tend to like surgery, so I do quite a bit of surgery, provided it can be done in the rooms. Conscious sedation is something I've taken on or furthered in my studies to offer for my kids or the little patients that come to the practice. So we put them off to sleep and we do whatever dental treatment needs to be done for them. Facial aesthetics, which I've also further branched out into, is anti-aging properties so all of your anti-aging treatments we do that here as well. Farooq, what would be your message and advice to the youth out there? The youth I think it's very important to educate yourself um, uh, we are lucky to be in a country that's making things a lot more accessible for us the youth really need to take advantage of that make better choices in life and educate yourself. 
it's also Madiba's centenary year. Can you give the viewers a message about Madiba's legacy? I think with Madiba, one of his quotes that you know really rings true with me is that uh, a winner is a dreamer who never gives up. So stick to those words, they're very wise.